Hello guys, uh, this is Mateus. Back to uh, our cover um, tutorial. Uh, this is the part two, the development. So we're going to finalize uh, this page. Okay, so next step, uh, we're going to grab the font. Okay, uh, I have chosen uh, already and pasted here the railway uh, font with 300, 400, and 700 of weight. So how to do that? We just go to Google Fonts. Uh, it's the best place uh, in my point of view to, to grab fonts. We have a lot here and we have some examples. So let's go into Railway. Uh, choose the one I, I got. Railway. Okay, you just click the plus button Open this uh, and select uh, the import. Yeah, so you just paste this, copy and paste. I will customize. I will get the light, the regular, and the uh, bold. I think yeah, this is the ones I have there. So we just copy this uh, and paste in here. It's already here. So yeah, it's good to comment before uh, uh, things uh, so you can get a better division on your style sheet all right uh, so the first thing uh, we want to do this and we have this okay first thing uh, we are going to get the HTML okay uh, the things I've done uh, was I have commented this mass head brand and I have added a href with mass head brand class, which will have the styles to float left and center when mobile uh, this this logo here. So um, you put inside an image and a span called road to life, which is the description. Okay, this is the first uh, steps. Okay, the second I'm gonna be uh, Changing this uh, home, uh, making the features in here. Uh, uh, advantages, advantages of getting the road to life. Uh, home features, yeah, can be this free. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, Right here, uh, we will change uh, this to find your way to happiness, okay? And I have added this span right here so I can have different style from happiness. As you see here, we have a, a thinner font here and a bolder here. So that's the span. Okay, and we have a P class of lead that was on the template already uh, help others help you I have changed the text and it learned more for them okay yeah after uh, doing the HTML we are going to the style part okay so the first thing uh, I want to grab the background image and put into the body background image URL would be some versions of uh, sublime text we want to fill this mine is not right now but that's okay image slash bg body dot uh, jpj okay image because uh, we are on the style style it's on the root of our, our folder so image is another folder slash bg body okay that's it. We want this to have a size, background size of cover. I'm not using repeat because this is quite the, the, the size of the uh, my my monitor. And uh, right now I'm not using that, but we should use uh, kind of every time background uh, blend mode. 
color dodge. I'll explain you in a few seconds. Font family of the body. Real play. Real play. Cursive. This is a fallback. If we cannot uh, download this, uh, we will use this, which is uh, Windows, Mac, and operational systems uh, default fonts. Okay, let me update this. Yeah, let's see. After we are going to fix this because it's a little bit right. So right now we are not worrying about that. Okay. So the next thing uh, I'm going to do some stuff with the mass head brand, my brand section here. Okay. So. Uh, I have already written this like this, but we could. The best thing is to 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 write like this, not uppercase. Uh, and we, we define this on our styles like this text transform uppercase. So every time we change the te the text, we are not missing that style, which is important. Uh, font size, oh, we have a 19 pixels, very call align, middle. You can see that this is a little bit upper, you know, so if we define this pan vertical align middle, it will align the image ver very calling. So yeah, uh, padding left, 0 0.6 EM. I always use EM, so I encourage you to do so. Uh, it's better than the fine size like 20 pixels, 19, 17. So you have one measure based on your body's uh, default font uh, size. Okay, so one EM will follow your body. If your body is font size 16 pixels, one EM will be 16 pixels. So yeah, let's see how it's. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Now uh, the cover heading. Find a way to have this. I will start that. Uh, dot cover heading. I want a font weight of six hundred and a text transform uppercase two. All right. Uh, now. We can see that everything is bold, but I want this pan, which is the first part, to have a font weight of 100. Okay, better. All right, so now we are going to start the button. Okay, um, I'm gonna be leading you in, into a different uh, step for style the button. Uh, let me open this full screen and we're going to use the inspector uh, option common common option I or shift common or F, F12 I think on Windows so yeah let's style the button using uh, this using direct this I think it's better styling direct in the browser because you will uh, uh, shorten your development you will uh, can you can see things how they are because in Photoshop sketch or Illustrator or whatever you using sometimes color sizes are different from the browser sometimes not all the time so yeah so let's grab this button and let's style the element let me give a background color. Let me start with white and then I can grab with color picker if you're using Chrome. And I'm gonna grab this red here. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit bolder. Yeah, this one looks good. Okay. Also, I'm gonna uh, set the border to one pixel solid 
the same color C six four E four. Yeah, that's it. In the bottom and text we have a color of white. Also I have a, a font weight of a hundred so it gets more more readable. You can see that this is bold so it's better like this. And a text transform transform of uppercase. Yeah, that's it. We have style our button in the browser. Now we just copy those tiles and paste in, in, into here. Let me, we have one button, so I'm using this class. Okay, yeah, beautiful. All right. We didn't get the font weight, I'm not sure why. Maybe we have another class overlapping this. Uh, let's add import in here, which will uh, over be in front of any styles you have, which are not important. Okay, uh, now we are going to style our underline. Okay, uh, this is the active, so we are at home. When we move into features, which is not working uh, right now, this is just a cover. You can have multiple pages, pages like this. So this is gonna work like the active, like this, a underline, a, a bold color here. So uh, let's get this class. This is a bootstrap uh, class. So we're going to change exactly uh, these tiles as it is. So this is the style, okay, this is inside of cover CSS. So we just need to copy all of it and paste into our code, okay? So again, let's style using the browser. The color, we can keep this. Um, the bar bottom color, I'm going to use the same as the bottom, okay? That's it. Let's copy all of it. Paste here. I just need to close this. Yeah. Okay. That's it. So the last step here, guys, uh, is to uh, center this. We're going to be using uh, background position X which is horizontal position, 15%. Yeah, so it, it, it will move 15%. Uh, so you can see that when we have full screen, it's not moving. So it will move with the, when you resize this, okay? So yeah, that's great. All right, so next thing, last thing, uh, not least, uh, I'm gonna, to explain to you about the background blend mode, I choose the color dodgy because this is my 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 image original. So I cannot see well those home features, advantages menu, and, and the the texts the texts are not uh, good to 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 read. So we have a lot here. We can test uh, each each one. Uh, we have uh, black and white, which is uh, luminosity. Uh, we have overlay for overlay purposes, and we can use you can use the one you like. Soft light also works for this, and color dodgy works too. Uh, I have chosen color dodgy because I think it's more uh, it's more like a vintage style but soft light also works very good so you choose so yeah that's it guys uh thanks for watching mateus from uh gearlock web design bye